when you have your MacBook connected to the projector through the Thunderbolt to VGA, you are then going to be able to turn on the Mac, your Air Server program, once you have that downloaded. Air Server is the program on your Mac that allows you to project an iPad to the screen and also send sound to the device. You can send multiple devices to Air Server at once and choose which one you would like. In my launch pad, I will choose Air Server. When you open Air Server, you'll notice that nothing happens on the screen. There are no uh, extra things that open up, but you do have Air Server currently running. Whenever I go to my preferences, so I can go to my preferences right now and show you what are, what's available, you can go through this and set some options to keep it in dock if you want to open it log in the reason these are important is because if you are going to be using this on a regular basis and you log into your Mac you're gonna want want it to open so that you don't have to remember to do it or forget and the students try to project and then you have to turn it on if you haven't opened it log in it turns on it is ready to go I'm going to choose preferences and your preferences will also be available on the top of your screen so the general preferences the computer name that's what you've set up in the general settings for what your computer is called. You can have a password, notice it is no password, fixed password, on screen code or ask me, and that's gonna be a personal preference. The reason you may want a passcode is so that your students have to input that code or the on screen code in order to access your uh, device. If not, any person who is within range could take over your screen potentially. So you would have the possibility of any student who is walking by, who is in a room next door, of choosing your device and then taking over your screen and you wouldn't know where they came from. If you do the on-screen code, it will generate a code that will pop up on the screen and the students will have to choose that. The next one going across will be your audio and you can choose where the sound is going to be sent to your display, this is the display that I have, which is currently my MacBook's display. Your mirroring options are going to ask you how you want it to mirror. So your preferred mirroring resolution you can change based on what you want it to be when you do an output. And finally, you have some advanced options to check for updates, to show in dock, and you can change these as needed. So once you have those set up, and your air server is on, you don't need to do anything else on your Mac other than make sure air server is turned on and ready to function. On your iPad then, you will actually swipe into the control center. We will choose AirPlay. And when we choose AirPlay, you're going to see that what I'm looking for is whatever the name of my MacBook would be. So mine is T. Rexler MacBook. I am mirroring now my iPad to my MacBook. So while I have this mirroring to my MacBook, you'll see that I can do anything that I need to on my iPad. If I open up Pages, I can display uh, a document that I may have in Pages. So if your students have created a document or let's say they're working and they wanna create a new one, they can do the full functions of the iPad on the screen, which will be connected to the projector. If you have them where they've created a video and they have that in iMovie, they can play their video on the screen which will also capture and carry their audio. On the iPad, remember, we're gonna go to the control center. We choose AirPlay on the right side and you'll choose which one you want. When the student is done, you want them to turn off mirroring and choose iPad so that the audio and the video go back to the device and it's not connected still to your MacBook. Once I do that, you'll notice that it will go off the screen. And if you did have multiple devices, they would all show up and you could choose which one you wanted to highlight. You can also do a few other features on um, Air Server if you choose. You can record what's happening on the screen and you can actually do a live stream onto YouTube if that's something you would like to try. When you are done, if you want to turn Air Server off, you can simply quit the Air Server program and it will stop the connection that it could have between devices. Again, if you want to set this so that it turns on um, as soon as you open your device and log in, you can have it open at login and it's ready to go.
Just a reminder that AirPlay is a built-in feature of the iPad and you do not need to download anything for it. AirServe is a program that needs to be downloaded on your MacBook and registered for full license use.